Hey everybody, check it out. I got some Parfianca Pomegranate Scions cuttings. Shout out to California Rare Fruit Growers Club. Thanks for the Scions. Shout out to all the members there. It's a great club if you're in California. Uh, it's an awesome place to get rare Scions cuttings that you're looking for. And it's a great place to meet people who have like-minded interest in growing fruit trees. So. I'm gonna graft these cuttings onto this tree. This is the pomegranate tree. Uh, I believe this cutting came from Afghanistan about 20 years ago. Now it's about like, I say about 15 feet tall. And now we're gonna, we pruned it a little bit up there. And now I'm gonna graft onto it. The tree's starting to wake up. We have some new leaves, right? It's starting to make new leaves. Let me try to get that in focus. Anyways, I hope you can see that. There's little new leaves popping up. We're here in February, first day of February, and it's a good time to graft pomegranates, I believe. So, let's get started. Alright, everybody, check it out. Look at the scion. Look at these sticks, the side sticks sticking out. I want to get rid of those because I want it to, the scion to be as flat as possible because when we wrap it with the tape, these little pointy stuff would break through the tape, and we don't want that. So I'm going to make them as flat as I can, as flat as I can, that's the goal. And then when I'm grafting, this is where the, the, the cutting was cut, I want, and it's old, it's brown, I want a fresh tip. You see the difference in color? That's a fresh tip, that's what we want, alright? This sound is about 7 inches, and I'm going to graft it right here. I'm gonna graft it right here. Look at the mismatch in size. Our scion is much thinner than the rootstock. But we'll, so in this case, we'll do modified cliff graft. A modified cliff graft to, uh, to take care of the size mismatch. All right, let's do it. Oh man. Wow. Pomegranate wood is tough. That was hard to cut through, but now I have a flat cut, I have a flat cut here, and now we can do our graft. Look at that size mismatch. All right. All right. Let me wrap my sign here. I got my grafting tape, and I'm stretching. Look at that stretch action. This stuff stretches really well. And around these bumps areas, I'm gonna put a few layers just to make sure it doesn't break through before the graft takes. So wrap everything. That stretch action is very important. That helps the tape stick to itself. And that's a special quality of this tape. It, it can stick to itself. And that locks in moisture, humidity, and keeps this the sound live while it's trying to fuse with the rootstock. So that stretch action is pretty critical. There we go. I'll make sure to cover everything except this part right here where I'll cut and I'll put it in there. All right. With the modified cleft graft, instead of cutting down right down the middle like we do with the normal cleft graft, we're going to go into the side. Go into the side, cut right here. Is the yeah? All right. And I'm gonna wiggle this knife, and that wiggle action helps keep the knife in control. It helps you make a more precise cut. That wiggle action is pretty important. I'll cut about an inch. Ooh, see, I cut too much, but that's fine. We'll make a longer cut on our scion here. So here's our scion. Here's my scion. And I'll cut a long cut to try to match that. And I'm trying to... We'll do one side like kind of kind of like a cliff graft. But the other side we'll do... I'll go about half that. I'll go about half an inch. And make a try to make a pointy arrow shaped tip at the end. There we go. That's what it looks like. 
Actually, it's uneven, so I'll cut a little bit more. I want to make it flat. There we go. It's long on one end, shorter on the other. And then the long end faces inward, and the short end faces outward. That's a good matchup. And I don't have to worry too much with the modified cleft graft. I don't have to worry so much about lining up perfectly the cambium layers because there's contact down here. There's contact down here where we made the smaller cut. There's contact with the cambium layer down there. And that's good enough to help this graft take. All right. Now I'm going to take more tape and I'm going to wrap this whole thing and then we're done. More tape. I'll put a few layers of tape in this area. A few layers just to make sure there's firm contact between between the sign and the rootstock, okay? Again, I'm doing that stretch action and I'm and I'm trying to make sure to cover everything. I want everything to be covered up because that creates that mini greenhouse effect that creates a good environment for the for the graph to take and be successful. I'm squeezing. Hold on, let me get some more tape here. We'll do a few more, a few more layers. And I'm going to double check, make sure everything's covered. There's some openings right here. And it's important to... It's important to stabilize... Stabilize and hold it in place, the graft in place, as you're wrapping with the tape. So I'm holding it with my fingers here. Oh, I see, I see something exposed right here. I'm glad I checked. So I gotta make sure to cover that also. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and squeeze, squeeze the sound and rootstock together. Give it a few firm presses and that's it. We're done, we're done. We're gonna wait a few weeks and hopefully we see some results and I'll follow up with you, all right? Thanks. All right, everybody, here we are three months later. Look, the graft has taken, yes. Look at all the leaves burst through this grafting tape here. Here's the graft down here and the tape is starting to dis disintegrate and we got some nice good growth going on, bursting through the grafting tape. Exciting times, yeah. And look at all this growth going on below the graft. I grafted with pomegranates. I, it's great to graft on these shoots that grew out from the ground next to the main trunks. That's a great option to graft on. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna move away some of this growth because I don't want it competing with the graft up here. So everything below it, like this growth here, I'm gonna take it out. And then and then I'll move the tape. I'll remove some of this tape so you guys can see how the, how the graft healed. All right. All right, people, I carefully, very carefully removed the grafting tape so you guys can see how the graft is healed. You see all these scabs over here? This is how the, the wound has healed and the sign is now firmly connected with the rootstock here. I can't even move it anymore with my hands. It's, it's solid, it's in place, and there's a lot of contact right here. All, all these green, little light green parts right here is where there's connections and cambium layers. And that's where nutrients are flowing from the rootstock down here up into the scion and it's pushing new leaves and growth up here looking very nice so now we have the parfionca pomegranate grafted to this tree let me show you another angle this angle shows so with a modified cleft graft, cleft, cleft graft like i did here you don't have to line up the scion and the rootstock exactly aligned 
you don't have to worry about that that's the beauty of beauty of the modified cliff graft because there will always be cambium contact down there in the part where you insert it down there and so there it is folks pomegranates are a great tree we have parfianca now grafted to this tree it's in the shade it, it won't be affected by removing the tape because pomegranates are really really tough Not, normally I just let it let the tape disintegrate on its own but in this case I want to take it off and it's going to be no problem so there it is guys as always like subscribe leave me a comment let me know how your pomegranate grafting is going and as always thank you for watching bye